Let's go to the sports hotline and welcome in my first guest today. He's a Hall of Fame running back from from Temple University, University of Temple. He's a Temple Al through and through. Let's welcome into the locker room Paul Palmer. What's up, Paul? Yo, yo, yo. How y'all doing? All right? All right, man. We're getting ready for some Temple football, man. You know it, man. You know it. It's a great day to be an owl, man. It's a great day to be an owl. Hey, uh, Paul, you're uh, part of the – obviously, you're part of the uh, broadcast. You're up there in, in Buffalo right now getting ready to uh, – uh, you're part of the radio broadcast. Uh, you're also a Hall of Fame running back from the university – from Temple. You got – I'll never – I remember you playing uh, vividly back in the day. And, uh, oh, yeah, you must be old. Yeah, I'm yeah. old. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, man, and it's great that you're part of the part of the uh, part of the team again. Yeah, I will tell you what, it's a pleasure, man. I get to I get to hang out a little bit. I get to uh, I, you know, I go in the locker room when I can. I try to slip into a meeting here and there. I, I eavesdrop in the in the in the locker room and in the elevators and everything. So. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying being around everybody, and especially when, and especially when you're winning. I know it's the season's early. We're only, in, you know, this is uh, coming up on week three, but the the uh, Temple Owls are off to a great start at two and zero. Uh, they've outscored their opponents seventy six to twenty nine in the first two games. They beat Bucknell fifty six to twelve, and then uh, handed Maryland got by Maryland twenty to seventeen. So it was a great win. Uh, coach uh, head coach says even though they won the game, they still made a lot of mistakes, and they're looking to clean this up. Yeah, you know, and I think he's probably more so speaking of uh, special teams. Even though we had, we had a they, they had run a fake field goal and we snuffed it out pretty good, but there's areas in the special teams. I mean, we have an All American kick returner, and last week, and it seems like uh, every punt and kick, every punt, excuse me, was fair court. So there's there's room for improvement. The defense is playing on fire. That's always a good thing when the defense is playing well early. That's always a good thing. But uh, the the offense. Is doing good. The special teams need to catch up for sure. You know, uh, last year uh, Buffalo beat Temple thirty-six to twenty-nine. So this isn't a you know, even though the Temple Owls are a fourteen-point favorite, it's not. This is not a walk in the park. They can't. They can't. You know, rest on their laurels of last week and take this team lightly. No, not at all. And you know, um, Buffalo played Penn State really in the game. Buffalo played Penn State well. And from what I understand, it's probably three of seven Billy Riders that pick Buffalo to beat us. So what the heck, man? You know, we can't get any respect. But uh, right now, again, the team is hot. To, 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 we're expected to win the first game. The second game, people weren't sure because Maryland had just beat Syracuse. He was 21, and then they were 21 themselves. But I think people started to become believers. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at Temple's schedule. I mean, you know, you're at the uh, Temple Owls in the American Athletic Conference, which got you know. Hey, listen, man, University of Central Florida, Cincinnati, UConn, uh, University of South Florida. Uh, not a, not a this the uh, conference is. You know, it's got some got some good football there. Yeah, I think I think it's a nice it's a nice conference for us. It's a great fit. Um, I like it because we get to travel. We have you know nice cities to travel to. Uh, the night before the game, from a from a personnel standpoint, from an individual personal standpoint, good cities to visit, um, and it's good competition. You know that the, the American is putting ball players in the league, and and it's, it feels good for us. We're getting a lot of kids that are playing at the next level, at least getting an opportunity to play at the next level. So if you do well in the American, it says a little bit about what type of ball player you are. We're talking with Paul Palmer, former Heisman Trophy runner-up in 1986. Uh, you were NFL All Rookie Team in, in 1987. Uh, you played for the Chiefs. Chiefs are off to a great start again. Um, Paul, how does how does sports help you prepare for life in general after after sports? You know what? Um, for me, uh, sports sports is just giving me like the the, the opportunity. I guess after life, just to be here, to surround myself with great people. I'm blessed, man. I'm I'm so blessed. I have some of the most incredible friends in the world, and in a lot of instances. My friends are my example. In a lot of instances, I have, I have the guys I hang with are incredible fathers and incredible husbands. And I have, uh, you know, and that, and I guess that's kind of prepared me for a lot of stuff. There's a lot of people I've been around that I've been able to, to follow and look at. I mean, even Coach Arians, the way Coach Arians is loyal to his friends, has shown me that's the way to be. Be a loyal guy and then be true to yourself. And football teaches you the same type of things. 
Hey, uh, Paul, we uh, we've had uh, probably one of your former one of your friends, former Temple Al, and uh, also a member of the Kansas City Chiefs, Kevin Ross. He's been a friend of the locker room. We've had him on. I I, I played against Paul. Uh, I played against Kevin when he was when he played for Paulsboro because I went to Collingswood. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I'll you tell know, you, they, t- um, one tough man, customer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you know Freddie Frank. Did you know Fred? Yeah, Frank? I did know Fred. You know, he just passed away. Fred, God Fred. rest his soul. Right, and I think they did something for him yesterday before the Collinswood game last night. But Kevin Ross is probably like the best teammate you could ever have, man. He uh he was my teammate in in Kansas City, and he was my teammate at Temple. Um, he's reliable. You can always count on him. He'll always have your back. Um. He's always someone you can just go to. You know, if you need something, you can go to him. If he can't help you out, he'll get it for you. But, and outside of that, hell, he, he probably scared me the most when I got to college. <laughs> Absolutely scared the shit out. Yeah. Oh, he scared me. Yeah. Hey, Paul, uh, Paul, talk to us a little bit about Anthony Russo. Because, I mean, you know, Temple's put out some, some, you know, Temple's got plenty of guys that made it to the NFL. What do you see in this kid's future? Oh, man, I tell you what, uh, I love Russo. You can, if you just watch him, if you just had a chance to just watch him around the way in which he interacts with people, um, he gives you the, the, the leader vibe. Uh, he's big, big, man. You have, you have no idea really how big he is. Until you stand and he's got a big arm, too. He has a great arm. You know what? I, I was just talking to someone. When I was a squad quarterback named Lee Salt, they loved throwing a deep ball. But Lee would drop back, and he would uncork it high and deep. Well, Russo... Russo throws a, a, a deep ball, but it's a lot more soft. It's not an aggressive deep ball. It, it's so light and airy, and he just drops. I always say, you know, doing the telecast, like, there he goes. He's out there dropping those dimes again. And when he throws <laughs> it to the outside deep, it's like it's just like a like a shovel pass. It's just like a like a nice little touch pass in basketball. That's that's his best spot, in my opinion, is when he throws it deep into the outside. Paul, uh Coach uh, Carey's got this team playing well and believing in themselves. Uh, what do you what do you see for the for the uh, you know what's your prognostication for the Temple Owls this year? Like right now they're at two and zero, oh, and you look at their schedule. I mean they got Georgia. You guys got Georgia Tech next week at home, and then you go off the Eastern Carolina, East Carolina, Memphis, SMU. Uh, they, I don't know. They can they can probably get away with maybe two losses. Yeah, you know what I was going to say. I think I think we're sitting right now. We're probably sitting better than a lot of people thought. I don't think I don't think people thought that we were going to get Maryland. You know what I mean? So right now we're two and zero. I think we have a schedule that's very favorable. Let's face it, Georgia you know, Tech's on the downturn right now. Yeah, and even even though the uh, the team is very good, I think the schedule is in our favor. I think Georgia Tech lost to the Citadel, but then you expect Georgia Tech to kind of be off because they're going through transition, have a new uh, system. And they have, they have to get in new personnel. But everybody else in the conference, the big dog in the conference, obviously the big dog in the conference is Central Florida. They're the big, big dog in the conference. And um, But I think that if we play it right, I think we could go and not, and not only, you know, lose anything more than two games. Hey, Paul, you're in you the – you, you just never know. And you just never know who those two games could be. It could right. be, oh, uh, well, you know, you can't be Central Florida. We may turn around and beat Central Florida and we could lose tomorrow. You know, you got to play the game. You got to go out and play the game, Paul. You're in the oh. broadcast booth uh, covering the uh, Temple Isles football. How challenging is it for you uh, in the in the booth? What's 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 what, one of the hardest <laughs> thing? What's one of the hardest things you have to do, or f- for you to do? You know, to adapt to in the booth as opposed to being for on me, the field. Yeah, I tell you what. For me, the hardest thing for me initially from the start was. I had never done it before. I had never done play by play, and people said, "Oh, go home and turn the TV down and do it that way by yourself." <laughs> I, had never, I had never done it before, but I'm fortunate because my play by play guy is Harry Donahue. Now, Harry Donahue was my play by play guy when I played. So when I first started, he'd look out for me. We'd go to commercial, you know, as you might know, and he'd say, "Look, when I come back, I'm going to ask you about so and so. Get your thoughts together." Boom. You know what I mean? Or he would give me notes to use. Instead of himself, he'd give me notes. And and the, the, the thing was just getting his rhythm and trying to figure out when I could jump in, trying to figure out, you know, when he's looking for his notes that I have a little more time where I can talk while he's trying to find his notes. That's been the hardest thing. The hardest thing has really been just um, just trying to fit in it and get someone's rhythm. But it's been a lot easier with Terry Donahue because he's known me since I was 18 years old. 
And he's, and a, tr- and he's a true professional. And he ain't got to worry about me taking his job. <laughs> so he looks, you know, he, he looks out for me. Some, you know, some people in these situations might might have felt differently and might right. not help me, even though I'm working with him. But Harry has looked out for me 100%, so it's made it a lot easier for a rookie to come in there and do it. All right, Paul Palmer, listen, man, we really appreciate you taking time. I know you're up there in Buffalo getting ready for the 3.30 call of the game. Good luck today, oh, and let's yeah. go Temple, man. It's going to be incredible, man. You guys better watch. Oh, better yet, listen to the radio. <laughs> you got it. You got it. All, right. All right, Paul, thanks a lot, man. We'll talk to you again. Yes, absolutely. All right, there's Paul Palmer, uh, Hall of Fame running back from Temple. He's now part of the broadcast team. And you can catch Temple Owls, uh, Temple Owls on ESPNU today on the TV. So thanks to Paul Palmer.